Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas. I am joined tonight by Christian. What up? And Anna. Hey guys, how's it going? So there we go. We've got our um, yeah, got our show. Got back. our bugs. Yeah, bug time. So so there we are. So um. Yeah, I don't know. Do we want to uh, discuss alt mode first since uh, Anna and I both have him in alt mode? Yes, do that. Yeah. future wait uh they're saying that anna has Lucas a voice do does christian have a voice oh, that's rude do i have a voice K disappointing <laughs> oh geez <laughs> so we can hear we can hear christian but not anna that's so weird that doesn't make sense. That's not usually how it goes. No. I mean, so, Anna, go ahead and test your mic again. I can't... Yeah, let me hear... Hold on. Let me... That was a spooky noise. I was very spooked by that. Let's see here. Yeah, it says... It's the regular. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why you would be silent. Maybe. Maybe hang up and come back in. Yeah, can you try that real quick and see if that'll work? Why? I don't know why that would. Yeah, that's so weird. No word. Well, what's weird is, is, yeah, so Christian, you talk. I'm still talking now. Yeah, so you, you register on the thing, but then Anna, you talk. Yeah, so you're not registering on the... That's so weird. Um, I guess Suspicious. I can try... Can't canceling my Skype and then coming back in and seeing what happens. Try, It's not the same way that yours is done. That's so, that's so weird. Yeah, you're still not registering, the, <clears throat> Anna. I don't understand it. Do you somehow mute just her line? No. I mean, you sound different to us, but it's still not registering on the thing. Mm -hmm. That's so weird. Well, you normally, yeah, you normally don't have, like, it, it seems weird to me that, like, like, it's not a, it's not an issue with the software. It'd be an issue with Skype, I guess. I don't know. Like, somehow with your, here, let me, let me, can't, 
uh, cancel you guys and just try calling Anna back and see if that works. Okay. Can you try talking? Yeah. Okay, now it's working. Now you're really quiet. Yeah, um, okay. Well, let's first see if they can hear me. Or is it not even registering yet? No, you're registering now. Oh, I am? Okay. Yeah, I can, I can see it on the software here. Let yeah. Me. We just need to get rid of Christian. Hello. All right, Christian, now you talk. Hello. Okay, I think we got it all fixed. Does my audio sound okay or am I quiet? No, you're back. No, I know to you guys it sounds fine. I'm asking the audience. Oh. <laughs> so. You have to specify. I think it should be okay now. So, all right. Well, there, there we go. Somehow we fixed the audio issues. Just take ten minutes, and <laughs> I feel like this is like probably half the calls that you probably, um, you know, that you do like these virtual calls, like at work or you know, school or whatever, right? Where like the first like five ten minutes is trying to figure out like audio video technical issues, right? And everyone on the call always thinks they're doing everything exactly right. And no one has obviously made any mistakes or messed anything up. Right. Right. Until someone sneaky sneak fixes it. Right. But we're back. Okay, and now well, we, we can now talk we can about. Through. Yeah. Yeah. Now we can talk about insect tinies. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's a topic of conversation that needs to be had, Christian. Fine. Go. Okay. So, this is how he's supposed to look, but not really, right? Lucas actually has his how he's supposed to look. I believe on the packaging, they tell you to put those swords in the wings, right? Correct. But, yeah, I, mean, and, I think that they look fine, like, on the wings, not great. Like, I don't really see the yeah, point of them. And I, I think the wings like look better without them. them. Yes. And yeah. so, I actually like the way that you are doing that. Yeah. Mine now live with a different figure. Well, that too. Yeah, because they they also don't really, I mean, they're not G1 accurate, but they're also right. just kind of odd for him. They're huge. They made a giant sword staff weapon for Laser Prime. That's cool. I combined yeah. him with all the other first wave Energon weapons, and now he's got a giant sword. Are you going to Are they that supposed for to go together like that, or was that just your creativity? Uh, I saw it, posted on Facebook, and duplicated it. Okay. Sounds good. Where do you clip the legs? That sounds cool. Or where do you clip those to the legs so on the figure? It's, it's weird, Lucas. What you do is you, you actually put them together like this. Oh. Uh, so, okay. And then you shove this one into his butthole. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, thanks, He's got this nice little hole there, and he's... I, I appreciate you. Uh, is that the, the hole for that. the stand, or is it a different hole? Why are we talking about holes? Um, that would be for a stand, yeah. Oh, that totally like, but, fits right in his... Uh, right uh -uh, that's not the, yeah, not, so that's not that the stand one. The stand had... is on right here. That's the one you're using oh, here, the, right? Uh, we're using the one in his back on the bottom, so yeah. Yeah. yeah Ooh, no, that is a, like that's that. a different piece. That's a dedicated piece. Yeah, but that's... So whoever leaked that picture of Ransack, right, they had him built like this. And they're saying that that's how Ransack is supposed to be. And that nice. builds out his abdomen, I guess. Right, or his, his, Thor his toy had an abdomen, so, or Thor, whichever bug part yeah. it is. I don't know, sorry. We are not bug biologists. I just like bugs. I think it's abdomen. I think so. Anyway. Yes, it makes up 
back part for it. You know, it's not even really a butt. It's kind of the whole back end of the bug. And Kickback didn't have that in G1 or anything right. like it. But I think it does actually make the figure look a little more full. Yeah, it no, it up I, I, I would agree. I, I, I kind of like that. Because without it, like, without it, and I'm not putting them on the wings because I think they look horrible on the wings. But without it, like, you have something that's pretty accurate to the G1 look. It's just, it's never particularly looked like a bug or anything. Right. It's kind of just looked like a robot laying out on its back. Right. Doing some sort of weird exercise. When I first transformed mine into insect mode, I was like, oh. This is exactly the G1 thing, but now it has some more joints. Right. It, it, it really is. It really is. And I don't mind that. It, I mean, it looks accurate to what it's supposed to look like. Now, it, it, this is the difference between the, the Insecticons and, like, the Beast Wars characters. Like, it's annoying when Beast Wars characters kind of look like this. Like, when Wasp Mater kind of is, like, and angled. But, like, <laughs> this is fine because this is what he looks like. Yeah, and that's that's what's so interesting about Legacy to me is that, like, they still have him as, like, G1 authentic, right? Like, he isn't Mm -hmm. an updated Legacy version of Kickback. He is just G1 Kickback. Like, there really isn't any change or update to him like they did with the Prime characters or any of the other people. I think that's explaining that G1 is the default in all cases. And everyone else has to conform to them. No, that, that's exactly what's going on. And I mean, it's not a bad thing so much. It's just, we're kind of used to it at this point. Yeah. But yeah, so he is what he is. Um, the gun goes on the bottom, and I think it looks good there. I mean, I guess really, like, since these guys are based off of flying space insect robots, they really don't need to look like bugs anyway. They're just kind of weird flying space robot insects. I mean, I, I, I think it looks pretty clean. It's like <laughs> the transformation. It's like, eh, you know, it's just him laying on his back, pretty much. But like, it works. Phil asked if we would want to see any Beast Wars characters G oneified, like Legacy RC and Bulkhead. No. I really like that retool that New Age did of their Cyclonus and the Death Charge. So if that became a new Legacy Death Charge, I would be super into that. See, I almost feel yeah, like we, had, we talked about this like, you know, before or, I don't know, at some point, I kind of would like to see G1 figures be swordified. I would like that more. Because I think that would like be Like some of the animal people? Yeah, yeah, because like some third parties did some of that, you know, where, like, and we reviewed that um, Sideswipe or whatever, right? And there was a yeah. Hot Rod, um, or Rodimus. Those are really was. fun. And, yeah, they There's are, but it's like, too. okay, it's really fun, but it's like 100 bucks for the figure or whatever. And you're like, you know, if it was $25 or $30, it would be a lot more palatable to have a weird thing. And I really do like it when mainline Transformers do the creativity for us because it is usually cheaper. Unless it's a G.I. Joe crossover, then it's actually more expensive. But otherwise, when they're creative with mainline Transformers, it's it's cheaper and more reasonable. Randall says we all just want a Rodimus. I do. I, I've always wanted an Optimus Prime, actually, myself. But I'd, I'd rather have Rodimus. There you go. Mouse would be awesome. Because there is an Optimouse, that, that Mickey thing. Right? There's a the Mickey one, right? I know there's the mm-hmm. bear. Yeah, okay. And Rodimouse was a proposed BotCon exclusive from... Oh, was it? Okay. Way, way back. Redeco of Transmetal Rantra. Ooh. I think it would be interesting to see Transmetal characters brought into Legacy. In that Hopefully weird update soon. fashion. Commander Tiger Hawk. Is that is that a thing anyone has mentioned? That'd be too no, big. I didn't it, no. Commander Why didn't well, he big? He's good. I'm yeah. the big the big wings though. 
Yeah, but the rest of the figure doesn't, it doesn't need to be that big. It's fine as a leader. Okay, it can be a leader. But then I also need leader rampage. Yeah, that's, that's good. And where does that leave Death Charge with his giant wings? Ugh. Oh, you should just be that Voyager Cyclonus. I, I love that. So I'm up for it. <sighs> All right, well, we're talking about hypothetical things when we have a real figure in front of us now. We do have a real figure. I was taking the time to transform him myself. Oh, I've already done it. Yeah, just kidding. Go. Mine was already in bot mode. He looks, again, like what I said earlier, it's the G1 figure. Now with joints. Oops. And he's neat. No, really I do agree. Result. Mine is mine has wonky antennas because they were warped in package. That's okay, I'll fix it. Head sculpt. He's got the big '80s robot lips and the kind of yeah, very English face, except for the visor. It, it's a good face. Again, no expression, but I'm a little more okay with that for my Insecticons because I feel like they did most of their expression while they were in bug modes. Yes. So he doesn't even have a mouth in bug mode, you know, his head is very vague. I don't know. I mean I think this looks really good. I like I really like the chest. Oh it is. Um, yeah. Yeah, the chest the, is nice. The it, it looks really pretty. The only thing that annoys me about the chest is it seems like that they put it in there to um o- allow the chest to open, but then they like made it closed. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it's a joint, but it's it's actually screws. It's not a pin. Ah, uh, yeah, it very much looks like yeah, a joint. Yeah, you can see that they're um, they're ridged. They're not. It's not a smooth pin. It's uh, screws. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you can see that through the. But anyway, like it seems like that there's something I... there that you could have made it that way. I don't know why they didn't. Yeah, it looks like it should open, and it doesn't. Yeah. But yeah, it's really got... weird. He's got two colors of clear plastic, though. He's got the yellow ones here. He's got the the clear ones for the wings. But they're both robust. I don't think we're going to see any issues with breakage yeah. like you sometimes see with clear plastic. Like, these wings are robust. Yeah. Like, you could you could snap it if you really wanted to. But, like, accidentally snapping it, don't do that. Would this be three colors of clear plastic? Three colors. I'm sorry. My, yeah. my swords, like I said, are not with me. Three colors of clear plastic. That's pretty wild. Yeah, it's a lot of clear plastic. I like. There's no skimping on this figure in terms of paint apps or plastic colors or anything like that. You know, the usual doesn't have wrist swivel would be like the only articulation thing they omitted. And as we said lately, you know, what figures just aren't really getting wrist swivel anymore. They're still getting the ankles though, and the ankles really do a lot yeah, the for ankles dining. Are what's I thought it didn't have ankles because it's not the whole piece that moves. It's just the inside piece yeah. that moves. Yeah. Which is yeah, it's like, dang, they didn't get ankle rockers and then I, I knocked it. I was like, oh. And yeah, they've different. made at least a, a tiny effort to close in the hole in the wrist because the insect leg goes through it and kind of fills in that guy. It doesn't fill it in all the way, but it's enough. Yeah. Yeah. And and the effort was made. Too. Hands underneath. Thanks to the transformation, his arms aren't exactly beautiful, but they're fine. Yeah, you know, they get really skinny at the elbow, but that happens. I mean, I don't know. I feel like overall with any of these Insecticons, like the third party ones had issues too, where it's yeah. like if you fill them all in and you have kibble all over the place, like I, th- I actually don't think that this is a bad compromise to where Mm-mm. like it doesn't look like it has horrible kibble all over the place. Like I always felt like the fans toys ones were were kind of like that. Like there's just too much like they had this whole backpack of like insect kibble. Yep. Yeah, this isn't kibbly at all. You know, it has little teeny remembrances of bug part, you know, the back leg or the leg okay. falling off there and the back legs kind of bump out the back. But it's nothing not, that hinders the toy at all. Nope. This is definitely the compromise that I would want all the time. Yeah. You've got to put kibble places and you can hide it like this. Do it every time. To me, he feels mostly like the original, but a little beefier. He just feels like a very, like, kind of, you know, wide muscular figure, which is a little strange for an Insecticon, but it, it isn't bad at all. It's just a. I don't know. Interesting design aesthetic. 
Yeah, I think he's a little bit wider because he's got to incorporate those uh, the wings that float around the shoulders. And maybe it's part of the ransack bits, too. I, I don't know yeah. if he's designed, designed to share. Uh, but I'm, I'm happy with this look. I really am. I, I hope that the other two eventually will look like this as well. I mean, I and I like- honestly... I was just going to say, I didn't like him when I first got him because I, I liked him in robot mode. Okay. You know, I, you know, me in non-expression and faces, but I liked them. Okay. In robot mode, but then I put him in insect mode and the insect mode just really bothered me because I stuck these things on the wings like I was supposed to. And I just instantly hated it. But when I saw the butt that you could build out of them like this and put them in the place like that, I suddenly really like the insect mode now. It's just fun. You know, it still doesn't look like a real bug, but it's more of a weird space bug thing. So it really saved it for me. So, you know, I guess the moral of that story is that you should actually play with your figures before you decide you hate them. Because now I like it quite a bit. Go ahead, Lucas. I I feel like I've lost my train of thought now. When You're talking about sicking things and it's, you know, rear end. Um... So what I was going to say is, is I really liked the way they did the wings. Like, I think that the wings could have turned out like not all that great. Like they could have made them like gray or just something else that just like wouldn't look that great. Um, or just some kind of, you know, whatever. And I think that these, the wings look really, really interesting. Like just the way that they did the clear plastic, the way they did the, uh, the detailing the and, and everything yeah. on it, the texture and everything like that. I think that they turned out really well. Yeah, it's like they have little individual scales, and yeah. it actually looks really cool. Yeah, it, that they're all close together like that kind of makes it look like the. Did the original Insecticons have chrome wings? Is that what they had? Or they clear wings? So. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Okay, so it looks kind of. It looks kind of silvery as opposed to just like, look, it's completely clear. Right. That's so I think true. It's a good way to, to have that compromise. Again, it, look, it looks nice. I never thought of it as being um, silvery until you said that, but you're right. I just like the way it plays with light because yes. their pieces can do neat things with light. Well, and I, I think too, like just the way they did the chest, like, I mean, it just looks really pretty, like underneath with the. You know the clear and it, like it just seems like that wh- whoever was designing this figure that they were you know like they didn't worry about the budget for this one like they they skimped on the budget for like you know RC or whatever so you know one, one of the other ones um, instead of this one and the gun looks really cool too like it has uh, you know it's not just silver like they, it's kind of like a combination of a silver and a purple paint. It has two paint operate. I guess three paint operations. Two paint colors, though. Yeah. yeah. And it makes it's it crazy. look nice. It never happens. Because they made the barrel days. the purple and the end of it the purple, and it's cool. Yeah, it came out good. I, so, go ahead. I think it is interesting that this is redoing the Insecticon we got most recently, right? Because this one, Kickback came out in Power of the Primes as a scout bearer. Legends, bit, what what was that called? Small, small class. Toy. I don't yeah. know what that was called back then. Uh, the small ones, and so it would be like it would it would have been nice to have you know shrapnel because that was the worst one from T thirty or you know bombshell is pretty good from Combiner Wars. He can hang on a little bit longer, but you know what? Keep them coming, and hopefully they come quickly. I you know what I feel like that like the designers at Hasbro are just like, we want to apologize for all the crap we put out in Power of the Primes that no one liked. And so we're going to fix all of it. And, you know, it's like we got the Commander class, like Rodimus Prime. You know, we got this. The Dinobot, like we got, like, we're getting fantastic Dinobots. Jazz. Lita like One the, is on her way. Jazz came so, out. Yeah. Lita yeah. One, like, Lita. it's just, yeah. <laughs> like, literally, they are just redoing all all of that. And I, I think it's great because, like, I'm trying to think if there is, you know, the Abominus and Power of the Primes is fine. Um, fine. You know, that wasn't bad. I'll, I'll take a new one, but. Um, oh, we got Inferno done correctly. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we also yeah, got the weird ass go. Inferno in that. I guess I would just like to have, you know, Outback, Windcharger, Beachcomber. 
a deluxe slash. That would be cool. Bring her up. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. I mean, I don't think that like the uh, Legends class figures were that bad, but I would, I would definitely prefer that. Like, I think now seeing these all in deluxe and the fact that they're just like a little bit nicer, like I would just rather have these than, you know, the the Legend scale figures they were getting. Yeah, those were good, but yeah, like you said, now that Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper and Warpath and Huffer have shown that that scale is really good for minibots, all the minibots need to be that scale. Keep them coming. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah, and, and the one thing we didn't mention is because none of us have a comparison figure in our hands, but he isn't small. He's a pretty big, reasonably sized deluxe. The Sixicons were tiny in their original toys. Phil says that you need he, to pull back his, a little bit. His worry about the clear plastic there we go. is that, is that he, he doesn't want them to repeat that with what the chrome, like the chrome on shrapnel bombshell. So, like, he doesn't want them to use clear plastic instead of the chrome bits on those. But then one will have clear plastic and the others won't. Yeah. Oh, no. If it's all textured in an interesting way, I think they could make it yeah. work. Yeah. If they just start I going know. for matte clear plastic, it won't work well, but yeah. And they definitely need to keep this yellow clear plastic throughout. That needs to that needs to stay yeah. for yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean that that's one thing too that annoyed me about the original figures since they showed up in like multiple different <sighs> lines, they all had different decos. It it'd be nice to have them all fit in together. That's what was yeah. so weird about those um those leak pictures we saw for Ransack and that chest is just painted black. It just looks so weird throwing black paint on a clear chest. Like I just don't quite get it, but the yeah, figure that is all odd. Looks good. He does look good. That, yeah, I'll I'll be happy with him. I'll probably get some sort of weapon upgrade kit for him that adds that abdomen more correctly than, than the sword pieces do like you were showing, but Otherwise, I think it looks good. I'll be happy to have them. And the all the say, Deluxe Insecticons. Bring them on! Yes, I, I would agree with that. The one thing I was going to say, too, about these Energon Sword things is, I mean, if they hadn't been included at all, like, I don't think that we would have necessarily missed them, but I actually think they look oh. neat. Like, the the deco on them is, is, pretty, is pretty cool, so... I really thought they were going to be, like, Blast Effect textured like rubberized plastic yeah, as opposed to the hard yeah. plastic that they are. They're, they're These are hard. sturdy. Yes. Oh, Phil said that he meant the horns and pinchers on bombshell and shrapnel should be, should still be chrome instead of clear plastic. I think there'll be something. It might be slightly metallic paint. They will be something. Didn't shrapnel's right? pincers become purple in Thrilling 30? I don't know. And when I was going to say... Again, that purple, like that metallic purple that's on here might be part of their answer. Because this is yeah. actually kind of a metallic purple and silver. Right, right. We'll They'll see. figure it out. But you're, you're right, Phil. That, those parts should not be clear. You're correct. I have confidence that they'll figure it out, though. I mean, this this kickback figure is great. If you have a chance to get him, please do. He's wonderful and you won't regret it. Yeah, he's very nice. There we go. I mean, they, so. they nailed the colors. They nailed, nailed the model. Just, wow. A plus. Out of the park. There we go. All right. So, Legacy, it's a it's a win so far. Apparently, we're, we're loving it because I think we did, what, Bulkhead as well. And we said that was a recommend, too. So. Although I would like to back off that recommendation just a bit. Still a fantastic toy, but if you haven't gotten it yet, wait for Wrecker Bulkhead. It's a better deco. Yeah. yeah. Deco. Get that Amazon one. It is actually slightly better. But you, you won't go wrong if you get the normal one. It's also really, it's just a fun toy to play with. I hope they repaint it a bunch of times, and I buy it a bunch of times. Yeah, I actually forgot we were going to do both, so mine's over there. But uh, I don't even need to touch it to talk about Spike. Um, it's Spike. Well, and we have other amazing figures like the Legends class figure, Spike. Amazing. amazing. I know, right? 
I know what this class is called. This is called core class. <laughs> It is core uh, class. Started. It's true. So, okay. First off, this mode, the humanoid in the suit mode, is really good. Like it look, it nails the yeah. model. It looks really good. The colors are appropriate. End of story. Except, yeah. his his head sculpt is really good, but there's no paint on it. There's got hair. Yeah, but there's but he has like, no face. Whatever. This is a core class figure. And they didn't paint the eyes or whatever on the um, on the masterpiece fa- or the the ones that came with the masterpiece. So it's like whatever. I am hopeful that Matrix Workshop or Doctor Wu or somebody will make replacement heads so that you know they have faces. It bothers There's... me because we can't fix it without taking it apart, right? Like it's okay to skimp on paint apps if it's easy for us to fix, but this one is one they kind of needed to do for us. Yeah, I don't really know how you would take this apart yet. I'm sure someone will tell me, but uh... yeah. Oh, I just found out his head turns. Yeah, oh, you did. it does. Yeah, he's got that cool little turn around. The um, there's the thing in the back. Yeah, it's a nice touch. Say... That's real. What are you gonna say? It's a nice touch. That's it. Um, <laughs> one thing I was gonna say is, is the blast effects I actually think look kind of cool, even though I don't have mine. Um, Annie, you have them on yours. No. Like they actually look kind of yep. neat on the figure. Like no. those, I don't like most blast effects, but it. If I were to pick one that would be appropriate for the figure, this would probably be one of the few ones. Yeah, and yeah. it helps it make the more iconic scene where they're using them. So has little thrusty armors. Yeah. So they work, and um, they're so they're not soft plastic. They're hard plastic. I thought it was weird. Feels like that would be a choking hazard. Yeah. True. They're they're a harder plastic than we're used to with these, more like the other clear parts. I wonder if that will mean that they won't melt to your fingers like the other. Because I, I like blast effects. I think they're amusing. I don't use them anymore except for on like um what do you call them? The dumb little things. Micro masters. I almost call them micro casters. Uh, after calling them dumb little things. That's really mean to ourselves. Anywho. Um, I only put them on like really cheap figures. Because I don't want them to melt to my other figures. And then completely lose their value and make them look bad. So um, maybe this is the right direction to go. Make them harder plastic making them into choking hazards so so the only thing that I, you know i i'm not sure i like about this is that it's like not it's a non-transforming figure like it doesn't have an alt mode right? <laughs> like it just has this it has this you know pretty good like uh human mode right but it doesn't transform into anything so like and this is what it is the end it shows over I forgot how to transform it. I'm really trying right now, but I can't make yeah, it. Yeah, you know why you forgot how to transform it? Because it doesn't turn into anything, Christian. <laughs> yeah, I don't Chris. know, whatever. It's just I've got it like this. It, That's the closer. Wheels are on the I think you flip it around, and I don't remember. It's like it doesn't matter. I can do it real it fast. Matter. It it does it, and it's like close enough. And thank you for that. But he'll just he'll he'll stay in the regular mode. Right. Or due to hatred. I think you like flip this around and then put the arms back and whatever. I don't know. It doesn't seem like he needs some waist articulation, which he does not have, but it doesn't seem like he shouldn't have it. I don't know. I I mean, the thing that I like about this is, is I feel like this is, this honestly feels more substantial to me than the one that came with the masterpiece figure. And so I actually think that this is Cool. Like I, I, I would rather mess around with this than the one that came with the masterpiece figure, and so I like it. I like don't think it was a waste of my ten dollars, my hard earned ten. I bought two. So. You went ahead and just I'm died hope- dead and bought two. Yeah, assuming there won't be an official Daniel. Yeah, although we've seen that in the new listing for Daniel, so whatever. If that one, if that happens, you know, I'll make a Verity instead, and that'll be that. Yeah, that, that's a really cool idea. I like the Verity idea. It doesn't look exactly like her. I'm going to do something with the head, but I'll figure it out. You know, whatever. It'll be fine. It'll be close It'll enough. It'll be fine. 
Yeah, it, it's neat. You know, it has the dinky alt mode, which I could not recreate. Sorry, I tried. Hold but on, I'm like almost the there. And it's, it's neat. The colors are really good. Yeah. You kind of have to push the parts really hard to get it into alt mode. Yeah. Because the alt mode is... I don't really care. Yeah. I, know I have wanted a toy. It, Anna, so this and is... I, I understand why you guys don't care. And I totally get that. I just like, I'm currently going through and culling a lot of my collection. And one of my big culling ideas is if I don't think it's good as a transformer, I don't want to keep it. And this actually isn't good as a transformer, even though I just right. bought it. So there's what the alt mode looks like. And yeah. it is, it is okay. not, you know. What it's supposed and, and, to look and like, especially really? The but blast effects, it looks really good. The blast effects actually help. Yeah. Like, oh, it's moving, pew, and then it can leave. It can go out of your view where it's better. Um, <clears throat> one thing it does lack, of course, is that the head can't actually tilt back in any way. So you know he is looking at the floor <laughs> while he's flying around, which is funny. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thing, you know they could also be added an upgrade kit but how much upgrade do i want to put into a 11 dollar core figure you know that's fair that's i'm hoping it in my brain right you know how dna makes kits and then they come with pieces for multiple figures I'm and they'll thinking, put them with sludge hoping well no it won't be with a sludge one but they'll do a kit that has a head for spike and a head for daniel and it will come with you know something else i don't know yet so you'll have to have they, two figures to do both of them. They could do a core class upgrade kit, like all the core classes from recent times. I guess it would go yeah. outside of Studio Series, technically. Well, that's fine. But or they could do this classes, other Studio Series, guys. They could. Um, Shockwave and Ravage, RC, right? Maybe. So I want to I want to compare this to Ravage. I don't have my Ravage with me, but like... That's the wave made for this, I think, or Shockwave and Ravage, and then they added Spike. I don't know. Anyway, this is so much better than Ravage. And, like, I, I, I got Ravage because it's an accessory one. for that sound wave that I liked. Yeah. And that sound wave is kind of okay. I, I might not have them for very much longer. But, like, to think that this Spike figure is in the same size class as Ravage figure, they're the same price, it's like, Ravage is a piece of garbage, Really? Overpriced nonsense <laughs> compared to this. And not like Ravage is bad, but like it it's limited in articulation, it has spindly little limbs, and it turns into a cube and that's it. This turns into something, it has way better colors, has wonky articulation, but it does work and function. I don't I mean, I would rather have this any day over that Ravage. Well no, I agree with that. that. After is... seeing that Ravage in stores, I was not happy with it. And I mean it's know, like this half is... this size. Even even by weight, I imagine it's half this size. This is one thing I'll say too is is like I kind of am turned off about this like smaller size class because, you know, I just feel like Hasbro can't really give us the articulation that we want for that like size. Like they just can't. You can't do it for ten dollars or whatever. You know, it's just too hard to put in the amount of articulation that we would want. And so I would just, submit to you iguanas. Yeah, that's my problem with this. I think my problem with this figure is Iguanas. Because Iguanas is freaking amazing. He's super yeah. cool. He's fun to play with. He has a creative transformation, which you rarely get in toys this small. He has fantastic paint apps. He's original. He's different. He's really super cool. And he has good articulation, especially for a toy of the size class. Right? Like, uh. he, again, doesn't have the wrist swivel, but at least he has unhindered hands. He can use the whole stuff. He's a really cool, solid figure. And this is the same size class and the same price. And for that, it disappoints. I think it's well, because yeah, this because... one has to submit to a look for Studio Series where Iguanas can be redesigned. I know. I, Iguanas get to I, be whatever he wanted to be when he grew up. And I think that, that shows the, both the benefits and detriments of having this, having the, both of these lines do different things, but kind of the same thing, but different things at the same time. I don't mind having Spike. He looks accurate in this mode, and I like him, and he needed to be on my shelf. Here he is. But Iguanas is like an actual accomplishment. Like, give me more of those. We, we said it, you know, I've said it on every show I've been on lately, because we always come back to Iguanas. 
make the pretenders all be that because they're the same size as this because it's a humanoid kind of thing in a right. suit that's the size they are right. do it please and i will buy them all of them give them give them to me i think one of the one of the things about this and ravage is their accessories right this feels like an accessory figure that just goes with your 86 guys to make it complete that ravage feels like an accessory you need to make Soundwave complete and that makes them a little more bummery because honestly the the g1 main character core class figures seem like they're really good too like they seem like they're very solid figures except for hot rod i think he looks kind of poopy but the others look I really good i haven't messed with any of them i don't have a need for them yeah. yeah, I don't have a need for them either, but I almost want them because they do look good. Like, I think I'll get the Megatron yeah. for G2. The, the Megatron, yeah. the Megatron, I feel like, looks pretty good. The Soundwave is honestly probably the best one. Soundwave is really cool. Yeah. I like, almost got that in the Hasbro Pulse sale last week, but I did not. He's he's very, he's pretty much just a bigger version of the Dr. Wu Soundwave, which is yeah, no. amazing. The thing that They're I very have, similar. Like, the thing I kind of have a hard time with that is, is like, you know, I was, you know, I'm, I'm going to be like redoing my shelves and I'm like, what place is there for those core class figures? You know, like, so Iguanas, perfect. I, I will throw that with my stuff like this, you know, core class spike, like perfect. I'll throw this with my like movie shelf, whatever. But like those ones where they're redoing it in that, that class. And again, I understand it's a me problem more than it is a, you know, Hasbro problem. I think it's cool that they put those out because to me, like if I'm, uh, you know, buying figures for my kids, like I think that that would be perfect. Like a little Optimus prime or Soundwave or hot rod or whatever to, to buy for them. But it's, it's the birthday gift for a kid's birthday party that you don't really know level of commitment. Yep. Yeah, I think it's really cool because it lets a kid who doesn't have a lot of resources actually get an Optimus and a Starscream and a Soundwave and a Megatron. And that is cool. And it's just like sometimes we have to kind of just step back and say, we're actually not supposed to add that to our generation shelf, right? We're supposed to either buy it to play with because we like to play with toys too. You know, we shouldn't deny that as collectors. Or we don't get them. Passing on them is fine because they're probably not targeted to us, really. So the GT Megatron, they didn't make that for kids. They made that for us. Right, right. So, but yeah. So, anyway. So, I, I would personally recommend both of these guys. I, you know, they were nice as for my collection. So, I don't really recommend the Spike, but... I would have actually preferred to have um, the exosuit guys as decent versions of the add-on that we got with um, whichever one, Grimmslag. Um, I would have preferred to have decent versions of those. You know, like entirely, even if it was entirely non-articulated, it was just a little statuette of them, but it was the right size and it looked this good, but with better paint on like the face. I think I would have preferred that over having this. Maybe. No. 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 Those Definitely get kicked back, kicked back. I think, like Anna mentioned, these are kind of the spike is kind of an accessory, not as much as Ravage, but as long as you understand what this is, then I would recommend it. So I guess tentative recommendation, conditional recommendation. And just because we didn't say it before, I, I mentioned it very slightly when I was transforming him. He's actually not fun to transform. Like, no. it not only does he look kind of bad, it actually is uncomfortable the way you have to kind of push his legs together and you're pushing painted parts together in ways that's scraping plastic against plastic. So it almost feels like the better usage of this figure is just to never transform it, which is, again, fine. It goes on your shelf. It makes the scene complete. It lets you have your humans. But the transformation is problematic entirely. That's it. This is the third exosuit figure we've gotten in the past two years, <laughs> which is weird. Yeah. But this is the best one of the three. Yeah, you could have gotten that slab ass buzzworthy one. <sighs> Lucas has it. He loves it. Sure. It's on his I favorite toy shelf. It's somewhere. 
It's on your favorite toy shelf, Lucas, clearly. Yes. All right. Well, um, I was going to mention that uh, Book Club this week is Optimus Prime 7 and 8 and the 2017 annual. So check that out. That is um, Sunday night at 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central on the TF Talk Discord. Um, so Rick hasn't sent me a cut the tape, so I'm assuming there won't be one again this week. So, it, you know... Um, he only sends them when I'm busy and can't put them up, I think is usually he can sense it. Um, but, um, anyway, so, um, yeah, I don't know what else there is to say, but yeah, thank you to everyone in the chat. Thanks to Randall and Ron. Thanks to, uh, Dylan. Uh, thanks to Phil. So, yeah. Thanks, right. everyone. Good to be back. Well, thanks, guys. We will see you next week.